enough technology. So, so then we jumped to Ron's idea and said, let's do this vertically. Let's make one yes. that loads vertical and put this in a bunch of, of, of uh, biomass. Mm -hmm. And we pull the plunger back. You start it, you pull this back, this will self feed, gravity will feed it down in there, and life is going to be good. Well, same problem. Um, biomass won't flow, it settles to the bottom. And in the chamber, which this became the chamber, and down in here, like this. Um, I filled this up with gooey, loot, or real mushy okay. stuff up mm -hmm. to about here. Pull this up, and biomass settles in water. I mean, if you if you look at this, this is not an excess of water, and it doesn't settle down like this. If you, I don't know if I can show this. Well, here. I know, like uh, when I had just the, let's see, uh, we've depleted this. But what I noticed, this was very stratified when I got. Yeah. There was right. there was a there was this, a thin layer up at the top, and then it was all water. It was clear in the middle, and, and then at the bottom. All this goes to the bottom. It was hmm. very And heavy. if if you got enough sawdust in there and that hasn't been in there for a long time, sawdust will float a little bit on you. Yeah. That's what's keeping this up. Uh, but the wetter it gets, the more it sinks. Well, so but th see that's interesting learning anyway. So if oh, you think it was. Of, if you think about formulation for biomass, okay, yeah, there's the whole um, uh, you know adhesion piece, and there's the whole uh, you know BTU efficiency piece. Right. But also, you know, think about handling uh, uh, midway there, and 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 ha I, what I hear you saying is it'd be nice if that whole formulation ends up being around you know like. Uh, you know, neutral density. So something that, that, that will stay suspended. Either yeah. stay mm -hmm. suspended mm -hmm. or not sink. Yeah, right. If it floats, I don't care because I can drain the water out and, and oh. cause it to come on down. Okay, uh, yeah. So this was the first attempt. And, this, and to fix this problem here with the coupling, I cut it off halfway to where I just had this first half. Yep. And okay. then sweated it with a, with a driver. On and you'll see that there's well I get this slug out of there it's smooth on the inside this is all one piece now, gotcha. this is just the collar over the side but it allowed it allows you to have a, a good high pressure stop because you're putting a lot of pressure on this thing that's the press I used over there well, uh, well so how does the collar keep how do you keep the collar from moving it's it's cemented on oh okay. with PVC okay. cement yeah, yeah yeah all right right so I thought this was the cracker jack thing I thought this was just going to work fantastic. And it didn't because it would not self-load. It just will not self-load because because it all keeps dropping to the bottom. Um, the the biomass drops to the bottom. Yeah, well, let me. The plunger down it just blows it out. <clears throat> that's the that's part of the problem. Is this whole concept is this this is all sitting with biomass all around it. But there's no plunger action taking place until you get down to about yeah. the same problem I had before here. This is all that gets compressed, is about this much in here. And so I kept having to do this, and I was just pumping like crazy, and I'm oh. getting little tiny movements out of the end of this thing. It's just barely moving out the end yeah. until I realized we're only, we're only making about that much thickness. So I thought, well, the problem is I've got the back open. So I made another one. What about shortening your stroke there? Well, you can, but it's kind of defeating this whole purpose because this whole purpose is set there and and, and I, I took me 10, 15 pumps to make a one inch per cat, which mm -hmm. is just... Ideally, you'd want to get one and one, right? I'd like to get one or pump, a, one, one, one inch per cat. One cycle or one pump or right. one... Yeah, right. Or no more than two because yeah. you got to make a bunch. Yeah. And so... I then said, well, okay, we get rid of the back. We made another one with just this opening, and life didn't get any better. It still it just wants to come out. Yeah, when the plunger comes down, uh, I'm not getting the benefit of all of this space. But I'm the, getting the benefit of about that much space. But the brick etch, you got out the end where, where 
packed mm -hmm. enough without having any kind of restriction on the back. Yeah, you, you have to start with a plug. When this is empty, you've got to plug it up to get a, to get some compression yeah. started. And I push this in there just to, or you can put your thumb in there. I did that too. Just you got to start with a compression. And once once it gets compressed, then it will stay compressed enough to to be a yeah. Well, that's how the extruder designs work. Then. Mm -hmm. They must have enough back pressure created by the plug that's in front. Right. But when this isn't um, down in here, it was filled with biomass? It is. It's filled. So maybe, what if you need to have some sort of cover on there related to as you're moving? Well, that's what I was saying about like a Y. Very good. Very good, John. You're, you're doing good. <laughs> and here's this the is your next thing. <laughs> that's what I thought is, let's fill it up, cover it up, uh -huh, well, uh -huh. and then we'll, we'll press it. Yeah. Well... Guess where the pressure goes? On, it, it, on the annulus. It all <laughs> comes up and jammed up in here and formed a dam. And then yeah. you couldn't get move this. Well, no, up. I couldn't. Put, you couldn't push this in for all the tea in China. Huh. You can't. Yeah, I, I'm not saying any of this stuff. Is, yeah. yeah, but what I'm saying is like if you, you had a, if you had a Y fitting like that, you know, the, so you're like that, and so so you kept this. Well, it would almost be like if you had, I mean, could you do it with a, with, a, um, with a secondary and a primary plunger? So, so, so think about, so you got a, a setup like this. Let's pretend this is one inch. Right. And, right. Um, and so here, here's where you're, you're, you're loading your stuff. You give it a, you give it a, a push down to get them, just to get the right. stuff in there. Right. Maybe a twist to lock. And then and then you do your primary pump like just, that. Just put a put a Y on here. Yeah, is what you're saying mm -hmm. right here to fill it. Yeah, it might. Um, the everything you say you have to make sure that it, otherwise you can see it's going to come up that way. So so somehow you have to keep the plunger in place once you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.